Hello everyone, it is I, Inky Crow, and uh, today I'm going to make a Unity tutorial. Uh, this, uh, the reason why I'm doing this, it's because a friend of mine uh, needs some help in handling Unity, uh, especially in some areas in which uh, he hasn't been taught yet or uh, he has a few problems with. Um, so, uh, for this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching how to uh, handle particles, how to um, uh, make them manifest in different ways, like in explosions or just constant emission, how to make them disappear with a bit of a flare, and uh, how to destroy it, how to coordinate everything so it can be destroyed uh, at that moment. I mean in whatever moment you wish it to. So, I made this, ugh, I don't know if it tastes like shit. So I already set up an example, a uh, little game here. It's just a very simple game, it's kind of like a very easy third person shooter sort of game. You just gotta wait for it to load. You see? Um, I left click to shoot, of course it doesn't have sound, I haven't implemented sound to it yet. But yeah, it's just a cylinder shooting balls. As you can see, it's just a cylinder shooting balls. So, what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do here right now is, oh boy. Uh, is to give give the shooting and the bullet itself a bit of a flare uh, give to get them particle effects uh, in its emission at the moment it's emitted and to the bullet when it dies so uh, uh, you, you can't just like work on it up uh, a part you have to make a particle system first in order to start working on it. So uh, let's start off by let, let, let. oh shoot, move it over there. Okay, now that it looks like this. Let's start off by making a particle system. So you can see the particle system already. Is already emitting uh, short little uh, fireflies of particle as particles. So okay, uh, sorry. Uh, the next thing that uh, you want to do is that you might want to look into these stats over here. Um, so basically, duration is uh, <laughs> the duration of uh, of, how, of the of, uh, the particle looping. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not gonna go explaining every single detail, <laughs> but but, but the the, mo the ones that I really understand is duration. Uh, that's the duration of the particle system. Um, start left lifetime is the lifespan of the particles. Uh, how much they will quote-unquote live before they fade out well not exactly fade out they just disappear from existence start speed uh, declares uh, the speed of the particles uh, wherever they go uh, start size is the starting size of the particle obviously uh, this one is gonna be pretty important when it, when you want them to smoothly fade away instead of just disappearing from existence and I'll show you how later in the video uh, start rotation uh, is just the starting rotation of the particles uh, in case you want them, want them to uh, come out in a different angle uh, sorry Facebook Sorry, Discord. Okay. 
Okay, I got interrupted again. Um. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna start. Uh, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna make a little flare. I'm gonna make a, a, a short burst that will declare that will spawn when I shoot the object, when I shoot the bullet, or shoot the ball. So I'm gonna head to the emissions tab. Uh, as you can see, there's rate over time, rate over distance, and bursts. Uh, you might want to put the rate over time to zero so that it doesn't emit particles because uh, if this has a value over zero, it just continues to emit particles. Uh, and what you want to do is add a tab to burst. And as you can see, it makes a short burst. It makes a burst of particles right there. So what I want what I want to do with it is that I want to move it over here and make it look like it's shooting. I want to move it over here. I can give it a 90 degrees turn right there. And I want to make it look like it's shooting a bullet. See? Uh, there's going to be a few modifications that you want to do. Uh, the next tab you want to, uh, if you want to modify this, is the shape tab. This is, this kind of determines where the particles go. In, in a way. So you got the cone, which it's pretty much one directional. You got the sphere that is omnidirectional. It's it, 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 this one works well when you're giving sparks to collectibles or you want to work with an explosion. Hemisphere only only makes the burst into one direction even though it's omnidirectional. It only does it in a half sphere at one direction. You got the cone which is the one directional. The box is pretty much Just one cloud directly up front. Mesh, well, this one you require a mesh object uh, in order to determine what you want with it. Mesh render, same thing. Skin mesh render, same thing. Circle, uh, it's kind of like the sphere, but instead of uh, do, uh, doing the burst in a 3D plane, it does it in a 2D plane. Which is perfect when you're if you want to do uh, 2D games. And edge, it's just an edge, a line. You send particles through a line. So anyway, uh, what we're gonna use for uh, the shooting effect is we're gonna be using the cone, and we're gonna adjust the angle a bit. So it's like if it's wide. That's to make sure it's wide. And the radius will, the starting radius will be shortened to sort of like the gun, the gun size. Even though the the circle, I mean the capsule doesn't have a gun. Um, and that would be it. Now you have something. Now you pretty much have something right there. Check it. Okay, so here is where I'm going to add a bit of flare. So as you can see, uh, oh, no, wait. I got to make sure that these particles go away quick, uh, not too far. Otherwise, eh. uh, it, you might want to have these particles like short-lived. So uh, what I'm going to tell you to do is increase the speed so it can look like Oh shit, it's, it shoots fast. It just made a big burst. Um, and reduce the uh, lifetime. Y you can play with this and see uh, and determine how much you want your particles to stay, in the, to stay within the game. See? 
you can increase the value of it. And there you go. However, the problem is that it, do it doesn't, it looks like it's just disappearing from existence instead of fading away. You expect smoke to fade, not to disappear from existence. Uh, so, what you want to do is go to size over lifetime and activate that tab. Um, this uh, will, uh, depending on the lifetime of the particles, the, uh, the lifetime counter will affect the size of it. And uh, next thing is, uh, shit, get out of there. Okay, so again, go back to size over lifetime and click on the size. So what you want to do is... If you want to have like some kind of a fading sort of effect, what you want to do first is, hang on, in the particle system curves uh, chart, that is over here, that's right under, uh, you're first going to right click and add key. And so to give some kind of fade effect, you're going to put this right down and it'll look like it's disappearing. As you can see over here, it looks like it's disappearing. It shoots, and it disappears. It fades away. You can try to uh, tweak uh, with the, the size of a lifetime uh, to make it look like oh, it goes big and then it goes small again, and it just disappears. See? You can toy with it a bit and look for uh, the com uh, the combinations that you wish to apply to it. You can even make it super wavy. But anyway, that's pretty much how you have it. However, there is one thing I have to say. Uh, just because you already have a particle system doesn't mean that you can spawn it uh, immediate, uh, immediately uh, once it, uh, once you have it. Uh, you first want to have a script that makes it disappear after a certain amount of time and second you have to make sure that that particle I mean that particle system is uh, facing the direction that you want to make it look like where it's shooting otherwise uh, it's gonna look like you're shooting up uh, because uh, uh, one of the instantiation which is uh, over here yeah, let me just change this. Uh, you can see in Mod Developed that uh, the shooter, it makes an attach bullet, but uh, it shoots about position and rotation. So it immediately shoots up. The bullet goes forward because it is programmed to move forward. But since uh, the particle system, uh, the particle system's default uh, direction is up it will look like it's pointing up but it's not shooting up it's shooting forward there are two ways you can do this you can do it in code but how I do it doesn't involve code it involves making an empty object outside the particle system and call it bullet shot and I place the particle system in there. So now it right here is I set all the transforms to zero. Oh not exactly all the transforms. But you'll get to notice that the shooting is shooting forward. Over here. It's shooting towards us. Next thing, uh, before anything, is you have, well, first off, you have to make a script that will kill the particle, in a sense. So we're going to call it kill time kill script
Sorry if I haven't transitioned shit. Shit. Shit, am I right? Studio mode. Okay. So th that that right there, I made another script called uh, Time Kill, and you want you want to open that uh, in Mono Develop. So uh, no, it's not yet open in Mono Develop. So you will open this in Mono Develop, and there it is. You got an empty script. So you. You will now, you will only need one variable for this one, and it's uh, a public float called timer, and you set a default time, and you will get rid of start, and type in update, timer, minus equal, Time dot delta time, so that it reduces with each second. And you're going to write a condition here that is, if timer is minus or uh, shit. Oh no. Tomer timer is minus or equal to zero. You call the destroy function and assign what you want to destroy, which is the current game object. And there you have it, a simple kill script uh, for you to try, I mean for you to use on the particle. Alright, bullet shot is done, all you have to do is assign the script. Now all you have to do is assign the script to bullet shot. Check your particle system and check the duration of set of the set thing. And make sure that the lifetime actually not the duration but rather the lifetime. See it says it's 0.49. Make sure you have a few seconds after that. Uh, so, if it's 0.49, let's say one second, at least one second or 0.7. Alright, now that the kill shot, uh, now that the bullet has been given a time span, it would automatically be destroyed once it reaches that time span. So the next, next thing is to modify the code so that it emits that effect. Well, actually, first off, well, yeah, first off, we're gonna assign that in Mono Develop. So go to Mono Develop and go to your whatever script you did with your character and just type in an instantiate uh, function. Of course, it, it has nothing because we haven't assigned what would be the effect. So, right below, which, which says public game object, type in another public game object called bullet. Uh, not bullet, but bullet uh, shot. And you type here, bullet. What? And then here you type whatever it is, the transform of the barrel. Or at least the barrel uh, transform that you want to assign. It. I already have it assigned to uh, a barrel with the uh, character. Well, character, quote unquote. Here it is, and rotation. Now it's time to test this out. No, actually no, not yet. Next thing you want to do is that you will save that bullet shot particle into a prefab. <laughs> I already have everything here 
setup. So you type here, I mean, you make a prefab and you call it shot. And you move the bullet shot here. And now you have a prefab to use. So you go back to the player and move the shot to bullet shot. Test. And now you see looks like it's shooting map doing a big impact by shooting balls. It looks stupid. It looks way too exaggerated for shooting a some small balls, but I'm doing an example here, so please tolerate. Now that you have this bullet script, and you have a bullet script done, what you want to do now is to make a kill particle. <coughs> <laughs> um, the kill particle is kind of like the same way, you just uh, add an instantiate function uh, you just add the game object uh, variable then uh, execute an instantiate and there you have it uh, on the transform at least on the transform of the bullet of where you want the bullet to end to and that would be it uh, no biggie but uh, Right now, you want to. You, you're probably thinking, I don't want that boring firefly effect, uh, firefly particles it's emitting right now. I want to put my own particles. Like, I want to put smoke. I want to put fire. I want to have smoke. I want to have fire. I want to have bubbles or anything else. Well, uh, you can't. Uh, and I want to use this texture to do that for me. Well, you can't. You can't change the particle effect uh, through just placing a texture on it you have to make a material to modify it so uh, for the next part is you're gonna make a material and you're gonna call it uh, I don't know uh, shoot uh, shot particle that's about it. Uh, next thing is that you will look into your files and, I don't know, or just make one yourself, uh, whatever effect you want to put in. Uh, right now I got a project right here, so I'm going to use, uh, hang on guys. Okay, here's one. Copy. Uh, where is the pitch war? Okay. B. Okay. So it has already uh, imported it. So right here, you have kind of like this plasma shot thing. Um, make sure you change this to sprite. Uh, change the object, uh, the texture type, to sprite first. And after that, just, uh, you select the plasma shot and change the shot to particles additive and select the texture you want to use for it it's called plasma shot and there you have it now you have a particle so move that to particle system and as you can see the particle has changed now it's instead of shooting, instead of emitting the part, uh, the default circle particles, it's shooting the particle I assigned to it. It's a material. 
you have to change the material, not the texture. Well, you have to put the texture on the material and uh, add that material to the particle system. And you have successfully changed the particles. Uh, you can experiment a bit more. Uh, you can make more complex uh, particle systems by using a game object and then place in as many particles as you wish. Uh, because you can't make uh, different types of particles within one particle system. Uh, you can only emit one texture per particle system. Um, but you can still do uh, uh, effects with different kinds of particles. Uh, it's just that you have to place them within a game object and set a script there that will uh, determine uh, how much time will it last before it dies. Uh, so anyway, that would be it for this bit of a tutorial. Uh, I'll probably uh, do a second part to uh, teach uh, how you can make more complex or more fl uh, flareful. Is that a word? Flareful? Uh, make particles with a, a lot more flare than what they are now. So anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I hope this uh, helps you guys uh, handling uh, particles. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao.